Hey guys, so it's me, Sarah, it's Sunday, and Alana chose the topic this week, which is winter. Um, I'm not a big fan of winter, actually. Yeah, um, I'm more of a summer person. Uh, actually, I really love the spring, because it's like a nice transition. It's not too hot or too cold. So anyway, the topic is winter, and I'm not a big fan. I prefer, like, spring or summer. Um, I'm one of those people that loves the snow, um, but, but doesn't actually like, like, winter and everything else that it comes with. For example, the freezingness. Yeah, I don't really like the cold. Um, yeah, I also don't like having to carry around my coat all day at school, because, you know, winter, they turn the heat on, and then it's really, really hot in school, and you've got this coat, and your scarf, and your mittens, and all this stuff, and you're like, crap, what do I do with all of my clothing? And one thing I love is watching my dog, like, jump in the snow. If you have a dog, uh, take your dog out into the snow sometime. If you, okay, if you have a dog, you've taken your dog out into the snow. You don't keep your dog inside all winter. I take that back. You've already done that. Next time they're out in the snow, watch them. That makes more sense. Uh, like winter traditions. I have like two big winter traditions, and the first one is making hot cocoa, and I don't mean like from the packet. I mean like actually making hot cocoa and then sitting by the fireplace and reading, or cuddling with my dog, or doing both. Um, I am old-fashioned. I, like, make my, sorry, I, like, actually make my hot cocoa, and I have, like, a real fireplace that you don't turn on with a remote, you turn it on with matches. Um, yeah, because my family's that cool. Anyway, yeah, um, I don't ski. No, don't ask me to ski. I'm not going to. I tried when I was like four and I'm never going to again. I can't really remember that, but apparently I did. I don't like skiing. I don't like watching people ski. It actually scares me. My dad skis and I'm like, no, I'm not skiing. I do snowboard a little bit. Um, and of course I sled. I really love old fashioned, like, bobsleds. We have one, but my dad won't let me use it because it's an antique. Okay, so the question is, what do you think of the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell? I'm a really bad lesbian. I don't think that Don't Ask, Don't Tell is that big a deal. And I'll tell you why. In the military, you're not going to be like, oh yeah, la 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 la, my wife, la 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 la, you're going to be drilling, you're going to be working, you're not going to have the time or the effort or the need to talk about your life at home. If it was like a necessity, like you go around and like, hi, my name's Sarah, my wife's name is blah blah blah, then yeah, maybe it's a big deal, but they don't do that there. I think that in a military setting, it's not the place to be talking about, you know, your life at home. It's not like in the movies where they read their letters from home out loud and then, you know, love Julie and people are like, what? You have a wife? Get out of here. It's not like that. So that's why I don't think Don't Ask, Don't Tell was that big a deal. The reason I would be excited about it is because, sorry, I have an itch, is because it's one more step towards equality. That's why I'm excited about it. I mean, I'm happy that it got repealed because it's, you know, it, it shows that things are progressing, things are moving forward. But, like, don't ask, don't tell in itself, I don't think that's a big deal. Because, hell, if I was straight and in the military, I wouldn't be telling, nor would I be asking. And I am gay. If I was in the military and I am the way I am, I wouldn't be asking and I wouldn't be telling. Because it's not just not the place to do that. So, if you don't get what I'm saying, I'm sorry. If you do, good for you. You managed to make sense of something I said, which is something I've been trying to work on. So, yeah, I guess that's all for today. I hope that you guys all have a great week, and I will see you guys next week. Love you guys. Bye. Hey, guys, I forgot to mention one little thing. Um, make sure that you comment and rate and subscribe, but also... We realized that a lot of you commented on our form spring and told us what topics you think we should do and what topics you want us to do. And now we don't have our form spring, so you can't do that. 
But wait, you still can. Uh, you can comment in any of our videos. You can uh, comment on the channel page. Comment anywhere you like. And let us know any topic ideas or topics that you would like to see here. So yeah, see you guys next week.